How to get Steam on Chromebook. Here is Steam games installed and working on my PC. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly the same. How to install Linux Terminal on Chromebook. Now, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and click on the search icon, and then you want to go ahead and type in settings right away. Now, go ahead and click on the settings bar, the settings icon, and once that loads up, go ahead and look on your left-hand side. Now, right at the bottom of everything, you're going to see about Chrome OS. Go ahead and click on this. And then once you're going to go ahead and look for developer section, once you found that section, just go ahead and look for Linux development environment. And then you want to go ahead and click on setup right now. Now, once this pop-up comes up, just go ahead and click on next. And the next thing you want to go ahead and do is select a name for your terminal. I'm going to make my GD7 OS because that's the name of the channel. And then I'm going to go ahead and decide my disk size. Now, basically, you can leave this on 10 gigs recommended, or you can go ahead and click on custom. Now, I have a lot of space on my Chromebook, but I'm just going to leave this on 10 gigs recommended. And I'm going to go ahead and click on install. Now, you need stable internet connection to be able to install the Linux terminal smoothly. However, while this is installing, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. How to get Steam on Chromebook. Now, go down in the description and click on the link to my site. Once you've clicked on that link, it should bring you right to this page. Now, I've broken this down into five simple links just to make this as easy as possible for even Chrome OS beginners. Now, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is copy this first link and then go ahead and paste this link in the new tab. Great. Now, once you're on this new site, what you want to go ahead and do is go all the way down to the bottom of the page and then go ahead and click on download link right here. Great. Now, once here, you do not want to go ahead and click on save right away. Make sure this is not on downloads. Make sure it's on your Linux files. Once again, make sure it's not selected on downloads. It's selected on Linux files. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and rename this file. Now, what we want to go ahead and do is delete everything before the dot flat pack ref and then you want to go ahead and type in just steam so s-t-e-a-m and then dot flat pack the ref leave it as such and then go ahead and click on save good now once you're done downloading you want to go ahead and click on the search bar and then search for terminal or click on your terminal sign now once in the terminal it should give you something like linux and then give you penguin as well what you want to go ahead and do is click on the penguin sign right here and then wait for that to load now at this step we're going to go back to the site and then we're going to go back to the first site that we were on go ahead and copy the link to link two and then go ahead and paste this in the new tab right away now for visibility sake i'm going to go ahead and push my browser to the right hand side to make sure that you guys can see both the terminal and also see the code that i'm working with now once on this page you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom and then what you want to go ahead and do is copy this first code which says pseudo apt update right click into your terminal to be able to paste it and then hit enter right away now for some of you because you've already done this before or you might have done something similar in the past you might not get the same message however just go ahead and proceed with pseudo apt upgrade and right click this also into the terminal and hit enter once again great now in any case if you're doing anything terminal based and you see y slash n as you can see right here just go ahead and hit y and then hit enter it's basically yes slash no in any circumstance you have to be able to do this great now once we're done with this we want to go back to the main site that we were on and then we want to go ahead and copy link three and then we want to go ahead and paste this new link into a new browser and hit enter once again Great. Now, once we're here, we want to go ahead and scroll the way down. And then we're going to go ahead and copy the first link that we see here, see your C, and then we right click into the terminal once again, and then we hit enter. Now, basically, this command just shows us our Debian version, and mine is 12.12. .12. Now, for some of you, it might be around 11 or 10 or even 13. However, between 10 to 13 is perfectly fine and everything should work smoothly. Below that, I can't guarantee you that this would work. Now, basically, go ahead and copy the second code and then go ahead and right click this into the terminal again. Great. Now, once again, you can see the Y slash N operation right here. What you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and type in Y, which means yes, and then go ahead and hit enter right away. Great. Now, once that is also done, what you want to go ahead and do is go back to the main site once again, and then copy the link to link four, and then go ahead and paste this into a new tab and hit enter once again. Now, what you want to do is go down once again, and then this is the place that you have to be very careful and you need to pay attention. Now, in the last video, this is where most of the problems came from, and so you need to be very, very careful. Now, as you can see, even at the top, I've written, be careful with this very part. Now, listen up. With these two codes, you can go ahead and run them without the sudo or with the sudo. Now, with some of you, if you run it with the sudo, it would work. With some of you, if you run it without the sudo, it would work. And so you need to just find out which one works for you. Now, for example, let's run this with the sudo, right click it into the terminal and hit enter. Now, as you can see here, it gives me an error. It says refusing to operate on the sudo with hyphen hyphen user. So I'm going to run mine without the sudo and see if I get any error messages again. Now, I'm going to hit enter and as you can see, I got no 
your error message. And so this is where you have to be very careful so that you do not make a mistake. Now, once again, I'm going to go ahead and copy this, which says sudo flat back install. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click this into the terminal. Now with this one, don't hit enter just yet. Just go ahead and hit space bar. And then you want to go ahead and type in the name of the file that we just put into our Linux folder. So we're going to go ahead and type in steam dot flat pack ref. And then this is the part we want to go ahead and hit enter right away. Now, I intentionally did this just so that I can get an error. Now, basically, if you get this error, it's between two things. It's either you did not spell the stream the flash pack ref properly, or you do not even have the file within your Linux files. It's within your download folder. Now, for me, I intentionally deleted this from my Linux files to show you what happens if you don't have the file here, or if you go ahead and mistype or, you know, have it wrongly spelled right here. So I've copied the file back into my Linux files and make sure everything is in lowercase and not in capital letters. Now I'm going to go back and run the same code again. And then this time around, you're going to see that it's asking for Y slash N. I'm going to hit Y and then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter right away. And then it's going to ask me again, if it asks Y slash N anytime, just go ahead and hit Y and then hit enter over and over again until there is no message coming up again. Now, as you can see, everything is installing and working. This is a problem most of you had before, and that is why I had to address it this way. Great. Now, once this is done, you can see it says installation complete. Now, from this point onwards, you can go ahead and click on your icon at the bottom left-hand side, and you should see a new icon for Steam. What you want to go ahead and do is click on Steam right here. Now, it might seem like nothing is happening, but just give it some time. It's going to start popping up and start installing stuff. So just sit tight and wait. Great. Now, as you can see, it's now showing up. Now, it might took about two minutes to about three minutes, but you just need to sit tight and wait for everything to install in the background. You might not see any icons, but now, as you can see, Steam has now fully loaded. Now, I'm going to go ahead and log into my account, and I'm also going to show you how to play Steam games on Chromebook. Now, this part is very crucial because most of you might be able to install Steam, but I saw that most of you weren't able to even play some games, and there is one specific reason that that was possible. And so I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to help you prevent this. Great. Now, as you can see, once I went ahead and installed everything, I have Steam working and loading up. Everything works perfectly fine with no black screen or anything to fix like that. Great. Now, once you've logged into Steam, you should see your Steam homepage and everything should be working smoothly with no black screens or any adjustment to do. Now, I'm going to show you how you can play Steam games because most of you might not be able to play right from the bar. And so what you want to do is go ahead and go back to the first site I gave to you guys and then go ahead and copy the link in link five and then click on the new tab and paste this right there and hit enter once again. Great. Now, you want to scroll all the way down and then you're going to see Chrome hyphen flag flag or whatever it is and then go ahead and copy this. Open a new tab once again and paste this and hit enter. Great. Now, this should bring you to this very um, interface. And as you see here, there's override software rendering list and there's Crostini GPU. What you want to go ahead and do is type in Crostini GPU support, or you can just leave it like this once you see it here. And the mistake most of you were making back then is that Costini GPU kind of backs out the terminal. And so if you leave this on enabled, you're going to have a lot of problems. Now, if you're on Chrome OS 131 and above, I'm on 142. The first three digits are what we're looking at. If you're on 131 and above, you want to go ahead and leave this on default because by default, this is disabled because it causes a lot of problems in the terminal. However, if you're on 131 and below, you want to go ahead and put this on disabled. But never put this on enabled, else you will not be able to play any game from Steam and it'll probably not launch for you. Great. Now, once this is on default, or if it was already on default, you can just basically exit out of this place, but don't restart just yet. Now, once this is done, just go back to Steam. And then what you want to go ahead and do is click on any game that you like. I'm going to click on my libraries, and then I'm going to show you guys how to get any game. Now, let's say I wanted to get a game like, let's do a basic game. The last time we used the underway, this time around, let's use something like Bomber Grounds. Yes, this specific game. Let's go ahead and click on install and then wait for this to finish installing. Now, unlike the previous time, we don't need to install Proton independently and we do not need to install some other stuff independently as well. However, I'm going to show you some tweaks as well with setting games to be able to make sure that everything works smoothly. Now, if you're a first time terminal person, the first time you boot up the terminal this time around, you're going to see this message. Now, this message is exactly what I told you about the Costini GPU support stuff. So what you want to go ahead and do is leave this on default or you can put this on disabled and restart right away. However, I'm just going to leave mine on default because I do not have it enabled. Now, as long as Costini GPU support is disabled, you should be able to open a game. However, if it's enabled, you will not be able to open a game and it will open, but it will not launch. And so make sure that that mistake is not made. Now, there are two other things i need to teach you guys as well now once you have the game downloaded you also want to go ahead and click on 
the settings bar or the manage bar and click on properties once you've clicked on that go ahead and click on compatibility and then you can go ahead and enable this which says force the use of specific steam play compatible tools you can go ahead and enable this or you can go ahead and leave this disabled however i like to put my own proton hotfix or proton experimental both of them work very well for me however if a game doesn't work for you just go ahead and experiment with the different types of versions that are here now for now i'll just be using proton experimental and i'm just going to go ahead and click out of this once again for some of you some games might not work because you're lacking space and so what you want to go ahead and do is click on the settings bar right down here once again go to the left hand side and then scroll the way down to chrome os once here you want to go ahead and click on the linux development environment and as you can see mine was previously 10 but i clicked on change and i made this 30 instead of 10 i have a lot of space to spare for chrome os and so for you you can also just go ahead and expand your space to make sure that you don't have any space issues click on resize and then you want to go ahead and cancel out of this now with all this done i can then go ahead and click on play and then as you can see here it's going to download the new proton stuff that i did or shaders and then it's going to start or launch my game as you can see i can play this game as long as i want to now if you guys would want to know how to install blender or steam or any other application on chromebook let's make sure to smash the like subscribe and bell button and comment that down in the description below